Hi everybody, I'm Kathleen. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make one of my favorite breakfast meals that I do daily after I practice yoga. And I've been incorporating as many bananas as possible into my diet. I'm up to about three a day. Thanks to the medical medium and the liver rescue, which I talked about in my nice cream video. The medical medium, Anthony Williams, says that bananas are the liver's favorite food. They love the glucose in bananas that they're antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-yeast. So do not have fruit fear, especially when it comes to bananas. So we're going to start by making a banana blueberry smoothie with a few additions. So the first thing I do is I do peel and chop mini bananas, if you can see them. Make sure you peel them. I cut them in half and keep them in freezer bags all the time because having frozen bananas like the ice cream makes your smoothie really thick, smoothie, and delicious. So I'm going to double the recipe. I'm making it for two for Wade and I. So I do four banana pieces, two halves each. So that's two full bananas. And then we're going to add in some blueberries and I use these simple truth organic blueberries. That's a Kroger brand and Costco Kirkland also has some great frozen organic blueberries. And I do with the two bananas, I do a cup of frozen blueberries. This is so easy. It'll take you like one minute, which is great. And then one cup of water. You can use plant milk. I used to, but you really don't even need it. The water is great because the bananas make it creamy in addition to almond butter. So this is also Kirkland organic creamy almond butter. It's my favorite. It's just hundred percent almonds, nothing else. So I do a tablespoon for two people. You could do less. You could do a different kind of nut butter or seed butter. You can omit it. It's not as good. I'll be honest with you. And let me just wipe my finger off. And then to get more greens in to your diet, we're going to add spinach. So spinach is really neutral in your smoothie. You, you honestly can't taste it. So even someone's like, Oh, I just really am not into greens, but you add a couple handfuls of spoonie, excuse me, spinach with the banana in your smoothie, you are good to go. So this is Kirkland, excuse me, this is, Simple Truth Organic, Kroger, the other K, my two favorite Ks, Kirkland and Kroger. And I'm going to do two big handfuls of spinach. Okay. And again, the banana is going to neutralize the taste. All right. That's it. And of course you can add or subtract to your liking, but I'd love you to try this one time with just these four things. Bananas, blueberries, nut butter, and spinach. Okay, we're gonna blend it up here. I've let these sit because they are like rocks. I've let these sit for a few minutes. bananas sit a little too long. So this is a little more runny than I care. I like my smoothies really thick. And I know it doesn't look like the most appetizing because of the color, but it is so delicious. I miss it when I'm away from my house, which I was all weekend. I was like, I got to get home and make my banana blueberry smoothie. Mm, so that is it. Banana blueberry smoothie with almond butter and spinach. I hope you enjoy it. And we are going to make our next part of the breakfast. Okay. The second part of my favorite breakfast is raw oats. And I have a video at the very beginning of my channel of how I used to do my raw oats using almond milk and a little maple syrup, but I was finding that I was crashing a lot. So this is just a smidgen different. So I use a half a cup of raw oats and I just buy these organic rolled oats from the health food store. You know, with COVID things aren't in the bin anymore. So they prepackaged. 
So I just do a half a cup, feel free to do more. Your favorite fruit, I'm gonna do some blueberries and raspberries. Lots of, lots of antioxidants and phytonutrients from plants. And of course, we've gotta have more banana. Now we're gonna eat half of the banana and the other half we're gonna use to make banana milk, which is something I learned from the medical medium. So if you have you know, soy allergies or nut allergies, just try making banana milk. I had never heard of it. So for one serving, you're gonna take half a banana and you can use a frozen banana, which will make the milk cold. I like it both ways. Sometimes I do prefer it cold. And then just to finish off the other half, you can top it with your oats. Lots of potassium. So great to help your muscles and your heart. So for the rest of the banana milk, just if you did a half a banana, do a half a cup of water. If you did a full banana, do a cup of water. But for me, a half a cup is great for one serving. And then you're gonna blend it. And again, the liver's favorite food is the glucose from bananas, according to the medical medium. So, if you want to use frozen, just let it sit for a couple minutes, but it blends up pretty fast. So before I pour this on top, I just want to show you a couple other things that I like. I love cinnamon, get this giant cinnamon, organic cinnamon from Kirkland, and I really pile it on. Cinnamon's great for you, and it also acts as a sweetener, so you don't have to add the added, any added sugar here. I am going to add some organic date, excuse me, organic raisins that again are going to give it more of the natural fruit. This is for Wade, so he likes a ton. <laughs> and then we add the banana milk. So no maple syrup needed, no plant milk, just this gorgeous banana milk. And you can do as much or little as you want. And that is it, and you will devour it. So I do combine Whenever I have a smoothie, whether it's a green smoothie and the oats from my first video or this banana blueberry spinach smoothie with these oats, I do eat both because it is, it is a lighter breakfast. It'll digest pretty quickly. But if you're hungry, then again, eat something, you know, in a few hours, like an apple. Apple's also really good for the liver. So I hope you'll try it. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for saving animals with your food choices. I hope you have a great week.